Katie and I'm going to be playing Daisy Thistleheart in Althea the Dragon Empire. Uh, she's a human. I'm not playing an elf for once, which people will be glad to know. Um, but there might be a little bit more to her than meets the eye, uh, but that's all I'll say on that part. As for her name, Daisy just kind of kept coming back to me because I thought it looked, it sounded pretty. It, I kept coming back to it and it suits the kind of person that I created. So yeah, I, I hope people like it. So Daisy was orphaned when she was three years old. Her parents died in a fire. Um, so she's lived in a small village called Goodvine for her whole life. Despite sort of being a child of that tragedy, she's still quite an optimistic person. Um, when her father died, he was a baker and she kind of wanted to take up his mantle and do what he did, uh, but she was terrible at it awful so anything that she she baked tend to be burnt to a crisp or not cooked at all so instead of that she uh, decided to set up a little flower stall where she makes uh, her money just enough to get by really I imagine that her mother really liked flowers and that's why she named her Daisy and yeah I guess that's Daisy in a nutshell She's quite a sweet girl. Um, she always wants to do the right thing. She's kind of been put in a position in life where she sometimes has to steal things to get by, but I think she feels bad about that. She doesn't want to do that. So she tries to pay it back in ways when she can. She doesn't like to draw too much attention to herself. So yeah, she's, she's just looking to, to do good in the world. She's not really had any friends. She didn't really have any friends in her village, so I think that she would she would enjoy some companions that she could she could have a friendship with and that might help her and watch her back as well. So at the moment it's just a case of be on the move and if anything else comes from that then that would be really good for her. Worst type of party member I think for Daisy would be someone who's a little bit intimidating. I think she could be intimidated quite easily because she's from a little village but I don't know how she would react to someone who's quite intimidating. For Daisy's look, I, I'm i someone who has a sort of a, an aesthetic in mind at the very start of character creation. And for Daisy, I very much had Hobbit core, very much Shire vibes. She's not a halfling, but she's got that sort of country like feel to her. Very rosy cotton with the blonde curls was, was in my head. Um, from Lord of the Rings, and that kind of inspired a lot of how she turned out to be in terms of her character as well. So being someone who's quite cosy and welcoming and 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 sweet. So yeah, I, I think that that suits the village in Cauldra where she's from, and it just lets me live out my little hobbit dreams, which is always good. I'm excited to learn who Daisy is with the community. I'm someone who, when I play D&D, I learn my character as I go. I don't like to set myself like very lofty goals because I just like to see how they evolve and, and get to know them. That's certainly what I've done in the past. So I hope that the community is is open to coming on that journey with me and learning Daisy. And, and I hope that they really like her. I really like her so far. So uh, yeah, come and meet Daisy and come along on my journey with her in Althea the Dragon Empire, which is starting on November 5th on the High Rollers Twitch channel.